Good morning, KG2 Orchids! How are you today? I'm so glad to know that you are all okay. Today, we are going to study your rights as a child. Even though you are still a child, you have the rights. As a Filipino, isn't it we are all Filipino? But we have two classmates who are not Filipinos, but it's okay. As a Filipino, we were born in the Philippines. Or if you were not born in the Philippines, your mommy and daddy are Filipinos. And as a Filipino citizen, we have the rights. The first right that we have as a child is to be born. Isn't it? Your mommy carries you for nine months inside her tummy. And after that, you were being born. Every child has the right to be born. And it is a big bundle of joy of the family. Your mom and dad, they are so happy to have you. The next rights that we have is the rights to have a name. All of us has a name. Our mommy and daddy give us beautiful name, isn't it? And some of us, even we were still inside our mommy's tummy, mommy and daddy, they are preparing names for us. Even you kids, if you have doll, you give names to your doll, right? Even to your pet, even to your car, you give names. Our next right is to have a strong and healthy body. Since we were baby, our mommy and daddy brought us to the doctor because they want to make sure that we are healthy and we are free from sickness. And our mommy and daddy give us the right food. They want us to grow strong and healthy. Rights to live in a clean and peaceful environment. Our parents make sure that our community is clean and safe. Even you go outside, it is a safe place for us. There must be no pollution and troublesome noise and disorder. Children must grow healthy, happy, and useful citizen in a clean environment. Rights to live in a decent home. Our parents give us a comfortable and a decent home. The family lives together happily in this home. It does not matter if the family is rich or poor or your home is big or small. What matter is we love each other and you are happy being with mommy and daddy and some of you with your kuya and ate. Rights to study. Parents send their children to school. So class, our parents choose the best school for us because they want us to have a good education. They want us to learn how to read, to write, to count. They teach
teach their children good values at home also, not just in the school. Isn't it, mommy and daddy sometimes becomes our teacher. Our parents help us with our lesson and they guide us also in making our assignment, right? Okay, so we should be thankful to our parents. Our next right is to have recreation. Children have the right to play at home. They have the right to go out and have fun with their parents. They have the right to enjoy the company of their friends. Isn't it? If it is weekend, mommy and daddy will bring us in the mall or in the park to play. Rights to develop their talent. You know, class, that each one of you has a gift. Some of you are good in singing. Some of you are good in dancing, drawing, what else? Cooking and playing musical instruments. And if mommy and daddy see our talent, isn't it they bring us to a class wherein our talents will be enhanced? That's why some of you are enrolled to our Friday class, right? Some of you are studying ballet, hip-hop dance, and arts. For our mind exercises, I will show you a picture and you will tell me what rights of a child it is. Look at the picture. Is it right to study or right to have a name? If your answer is right to study, then you are correct. Look at the picture. The boy's name is Alex. Is it right to have a name or right to live in a decent home? If your answer is right to have a name, then you are correct. Look at the picture. Is it right to study or right to be born? If your answer is right to be born, then you are correct. Look at the picture. The children are singing. Is it right to develop their talents or right to live in a decent home? If your answer is right to develop their talents, then you are correct. Look at the picture. Is this right to live in a clean and peaceful environment or right to recreation? If your answer is right to recreation, then you are correct. For your book activities, get your B4 and answer pages 139 to 140. Thank you. This is the end of our lesson for today. See you again tomorrow and have a nice day.